I didn't know the hero's path was going to be in this game. I didn't know a lot of things were going to be in this game, but this is just my hero's path from start to finish. And by finish, I mean finishing all the main quests. Um, I obviously dumped a lot more hours into this game, but this is what this is. And um, I was going to tell you guys a story. I'll catch myself feeling this certain way, and I don't know what to do with this feeling other than to talk about it. A few years ago, one of my friends was visiting from college, uh, visiting family, and they were in town and wanted to hang out with me. And like any good Midwestern boy, we were spending time at the local Walmart. We were walking around in there, and I saw Detroit become human. I heard good things about the game, and my buddy and I, we played through Heavy Rain before. Uh, we know of David Cage, so we thought, why not? It'd be a good time. Thought it'd be fun to play together, and we played through that game twice. Uh, once with just us, and then the second time was with a group of people. It was me, him, my buddy's friend from college, Rachel, and a few other of our friends came by one night. And me and him, we were still in the middle of our second playthrough, so what we ended up doing was uh, we just drank and played through the game. Uh, we were experiencing the story that we were tailoring, and um, it was so weird because I would have never in a million years expected this group of people to be into what we're doing. Playing video games, like making a story essentially, and just experiencing having fun. Um, with all the twists and turns in the story. I'm not saying the story is just groundbreaking. It's just, I've never seen a group of people do that in front of me. And it was so cool being a part of that. Whether it be someone watching me play Persona 5 or me and my dad doing couch co-op or even with my cousins playing some kind of video game. I, I just love that sense of community. I guess that's the word I really want to say. Um... Like I said, I've had this feeling that I just can't seem to shake away because I miss a group of people that I think I will never be able to talk to again. And that feeling really sucks. I hate that feeling. And all those experiences just make me miss my online friends that I will most likely never be able to see again. And times like the ones I've had with my friends that night, it makes me wish I kept in touch with all those friends I made playing Overwatch. and. It sounds silly saying that out loud, but I honestly want to thank Overwatch for giving me the chance and the opportunity to meet some honestly awesome individuals, super funny people, super friendly, working towards a common goal, hating on Overwatch. It gets a lot of shit, Overwatch does, but I'll always treasure the times I've had with my friends and the ones I've made along the way. From humble beginnings, where I didn't even know how to play the game. And the only reason I bought Overwatch was to play with the friends I actually had in real life. Little did I know that it was a gateway to more friends. Not being good at the game and running into someone that doesn't give you shit about it and instead... Uh, encourages you and play even more games after that. Feeling like the backbone of the team because I hit triangle at the right time and put a well-placed alt right at the last second, saving our team from humiliation. I would stay up and lose round after round till four in the morning on a school night because I kept telling myself just one more game after my fifth loss just to keep hanging out with these people. I guess I miss how easy it was to just boot up the game and all my friends are already there. I guess I miss how easy it was to make friends online by just crouching a few times or just helping them in game, you know? I remember one time I was playing with friends and one of them said they had a date soon and they had to log off. So they did that. We just kept playing, you know, and uh, 30 to 40 minutes later, he comes back on and tells us that his date stood him up. And I remember feeling that sense of community again because he felt like a true friend like coming to us for support, even though he was just probably just going to play the game to get his mind off of it. But we were there too. And uh, I don't know. It was just a cool feeling. Like he was, he was one of my friends. He felt like a true friend. I don't know. It was, sounds silly saying it out loud, but I genuinely miss these friendships. And you know what else? He was a super cool guy. He was super easy to talk to. And I don't remember his name. I hardly remember anyone's name that wasn't in a party with me on a semi-daily basis, and it makes me sad. I could play Overwatch again, but man, fuck Overwatch, it's such shit. I'm getting salty right now just talking about it. I could play other online games, make new friends, but it just, I feel like it won't fill the void that Overwatch left. I just miss those times where it was simple. 
if it wasn't for that game, if it wasn't for those games and those experiences I've had in the past, they would have surely passed me by and I wouldn't have known. In a way, the loss of those friendships has had me appreciate uh, the friends I do have right now in real life, even more so. And in a way, I'm grateful. Be the reason someone stops playing Overwatch. Is it soft lock? What's up? I can never tell if it's crashing or like. Well, we just lost all that progress. I don't want to save. I'm not even going to save. Who remembers when he said that? Because I didn't. I didn't. Wait, wasn't this video about Detroit?